folks. I'm Christy with San Bernardino County Regional Parks in Calico Ghost Town. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're going to do a really cool craft called Cornhusk Dolls. Now the Cornhusk Doll actually originated in the northern eastern part of the United States by a tribe called the Seneca. When the Spaniards came over and started traveling from east to west, they brought this craft with them and introduced it to the California tribes, which then turned around and introduced it to the pioneer children of the 1800s. So, hopefully everybody was able to obtain a kit from the County of San Bernardino Museums. In your kit, you should have six to eight co dry corn husks, and you should also have six pieces of twine, jew, or string. We also included an instruction sheet in case you want to follow along on your paper. Now that you have your kit, you're also going to want to get some supplies from home. So you'll need a pair of scissors, some paper towel, a bucket of water, and a plastic sheet to do your activity on. All right guys, let's get started. The first step in this process is to, co is to soak our corn husks. So you're going to take your corn husks and you're going to soak them in this bucket of water for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the corn husks to get nice and pliable so that we can bend it and shape our corn husk doll. Once you've soaked your corn husk for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, you're going to grab four pieces of corn husk and place them on your plastic sheet. Okay, you're going to place these in your, on top of each other. You're going to want to try to get pieces that are almost identical to each other. Okay, this will help in the end process if you have them mainly the same size. Now, as you notice, I am placing these with the triangle portion facing up, and I'm placing them right on top of each other. Once you have your four corn husks stacked, you're going to try to even the bottom as much as possible. This is eventually going to shape your body of your corn husk doll. I'm then going to take one piece of my pre-cut jute and I'm going to start at the tip of my corn husk and I'm going to go behind and gather my corn husk approximately two inches down from the top to start forming that body of my corn husk doll. Now this part here you might need to get an adult's help because you do want to make your knot as tight as possible and often I do double if not triple knots to make sure that it doesn't come apart. But again, I went approximately an inch to two inches down, tied that string around to gather my corn husk. That's step one. Step two is to grab your corn husk doll and turn it up so it kind of looks like a banana. And then you're going to actually peel down the corn husk like you would a banana. <laughs> you're going to go one in the front, one towards the back, and what you're actually trying to do here is shape the head of your corn husk. All right, so now I am able to pull down all my corn husks, and you'll see that it kind of shapes this little ghosty thing. You're going to then take another string and again, approximately an inch to two inches down from the top of your corn husk, you're going to tie another knot. Now, again, you might need to get an adult's help for this because you want your knots to be as tight as possible. The tighter you can get the knot, the better your corn husk is going to hold together. And they're always going to triple, double, triple your knot to make sure it stays. Once that's done, you should have this, again, little ghosty creature here. You guys remember making those ghosts with the Kleenex? That's kind of what it looks like. And this has now shaped the body and the head of my corn husk doll. Our next step is to grab another piece of the corn husk. Actually, you're going to grab two pieces here. Make sure that they're pretty even in size. As you notice, these are pretty similar in size. And you're going to place them down on your table to make kind of like a bow tie shape. Okay. You're going to put the points on opposite ends here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab one side of your corn husk and you're going to roll that into a tight, tight um, roll here. 
Okay, and what you're actually doing now is you are forming the arms to your corn husk doll. So you're going to roll it as tight as you can, making sure that both sides are fairly even and we can wring out that extra water. This is why we have our plastic sheet. Okay, and once you have your arms rolled nice and tight, you're going to take the center of your corn husk body and you're going to open it up like so, okay? It should have this nice even split down the middle. I'm going to take my corn husk arms and I'm going to put them as high up as I can in that split. Once I have that, I'm going to fold it back down and I'm going to take another piece of string and tie that directly below where my arms are. This is forming the waist part of your corn husk doll. Okay, nice and tight, double, triple knot if you can. That helps hold it together. But as you can see, my corn husk doll is starting to take form. Okay. The next step is to tie off hands. So to do that, you take another piece of your pre-cut jute and you wrap it towards the end, probably about a half inch to an inch up from one arm, double knot it, okay? So that you have now your arm and your hand and you're gonna do that on both sides. Now, if for some reason your arms become a little bit crooked or one hand is larger than the other and you want to even that out, you simply take your scissors and you trim off the excess portion of your corn husk. This way your arms and your hands become even. Okay, you can also trim any of these extra strings that you want to kind of clean up the corn husk doll. So I'm just cutting these extra strings here, okay, because I don't need all that excess string hanging off. Now, now what I have here is a basic corn husk doll. Now, a couple of things to turn them a little bit more fancy like this guy here. We can split the corn husk up, kind of tearing the bottom and floofing out the dress. Okay, if you can do that and kind of floof the dress portion of your corn husk doll out, it makes for a better stand. And keep in mind, however you design your corn husk, this is how it's going to dry. Okay, so as I did here, by trimming that or tearing down the corn husk, I was able to make a fuller dress so now my corn husk doll can stand. So this is one way to make the corn husk. Now if you're having trouble with your corn husk doll standing up freely, you're going to take your scissors, turn your corn husk doll upside down, and you're just going to even out the bottom of your corn husk by trimming any excess corn husk off. So then you have a nice straight line. Then when you spread your skirt or your dress back out, it'll be able to stand easier on its own. Now. If you don't want your corn husk to have a skirt on and you'd prefer her to have pants on, you're going to go ahead and take your corn husk skirt and split it into two sections. This is going to form the legs of your corn husk doll. I'm going to take my two extra pieces of string and wrap and tie those two sections of the corn husk together. So the legend of the corn husk is actually pretty interesting. Way back in the day, the Corn Sisters got really bored with making the same thing for the tribe members, the moccasins, the baskets, those kinds of things. And they wanted to get creative. So one day they took some corn husks and they made a little corn husk person. Now this corn husk person turned out beautiful. She was the most gorgeous thing ever. And she was taking a walk one day and happened to see her reflection in a lake. She then realized just how beautiful she was and she, began, she became very, very vain. Now vain means that you think you're so nice and so beautiful that you treat people badly. And we don't like that. So 
She became very vain and started being extremely mean to all of the other tribe's members. When the great spirit discovered this, he decided to punish her. And by punishing her, he took her face away. And that way she wasn't able to communicate with any of the tribe's members, the animals, or anything. So now when we make our corn husk dolls, we actually make them with no faces because this was her punishment and that's how the legend goes. So this here is now my corn husk doll with pants on. So as you can see, you can do pants, you can do dresses. As you get more and more skilled in this craft, people have added color, um, they've added beadwork, um, different things like that. So as, like I said, as you get more talented, you can embellish your corn husk doll as much as you like. I want to thank you for joining us today. If you get a chance, come on out to Calico Ghost Town in Yermo, California, where you can truly experience the Old West. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye.